Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to a rebuild. It's been a minute since we did a rebuild. I'm hyped to get up in here. We're going to be doing the Chicago Bears. Make sure you guys do hit that thumbs up button, though. That would be greatly appreciated. If you guys are new here, we do a lot of Madden content. So make sure you hit that sub button. That also would be greatly appreciated. We're going to start it out, and we're going to put Le'Veon Bell here on the Bears. So we know he got released IRL just yesterday, I believe. It, it might have been actually last night. But yeah, for whatever reason, the Jets just release him yeah probably could have got a pick out of him for trading him nope they just release him that's a jet thing right there but uh definitely caught me off guard i mean if anything i would have thought he would have been traded but my god they just straight up cut him so i think chicago is a pretty good match for him to be fair um actually i really do think he is i really do i think chicago is probably up and definitely within the I, i'd say they're the number one team that should be interested in him. I'd say they're for sure within the top three. So we're going to stick with that with Lev Bell here on the Bears. Nick Foles is going to stick with the QB. Got AR here. Anthony Miller. What age is Anthony? He's 25. Okay. Now the thing is, I want to get Riley Ridley upgraded a bit. I, I think we're going to start him over Ted Ginn. Just to get him some more snaps. As you can see, we're starting Cole Kmet here over Jimmy Graham as well because I really want to upgrade Cole Kmet. I think he can be a monster. Yeah. He already doesn't have bad stats. Decent traits. So I like that. Offensive line isn't too bad up here. You got Charles Leno, James Daniels, white hair. After that, it does get a bit tougher on the right side. So we'll likely have to address that. Defense, though, I mean, it's always going to be the strength here of Chicago. Secondary's not bad. Fuller's a really nice corner. I like just me some Jalen Johnson. Still's got that hidden dev trait, so he, he should be a monster. Um, Maybe need to get another slot guy, though, to go along with this secondary. D-line, we got Akeem Hicks, Nichols, and Urban. Now, we obviously have Khalil Mack, who's going to destroy everything. We have Roquan. I mean, our defense is nasty. We got Robert Quinn, Danny Trevathan. I'd say those are two positions we'll likely have to get younger at. Where Robert Quinn is in Trevathan. Besides that, I do like Eddie Jackson, but we'll probably have to get a lot younger at strong safety. Gibson ain't young. Yeah, he's 30. So, yeah, we got a couple positions we need to upgrade. But, uh, you know, some positions I'm liking as well we're a bit younger at. I'd say the biggest question mark is going to be quarterback. Because everything's up in the air there. Um, let's get to midseason. See if we got anybody to bring back here. Uh, yeah, see, I, I really need... Well, I'm curious the money we're going to have. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be great. Wow, I didn't know AR was up to sheer damn. Damn, dude, we don't have money. My gosh. I've been in just rough cap situations like the last 5 to 10 rebuilds. Damn. Okay. Well, I mean, we can't lose the AR. But damn, that's our money. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, Trubisky, you ain't getting paid. Yeah, that's, that's likely all we're going to try to bring back. Just Allen. That's a bit tough, though. He wants a bit of money, but we're going to have to pay him. I mean, we can't lose a number one receiver like that, especially with Superstar. So he's not even going to regress too bad. So, yeah, he's definitely a priority here. Oh, wow. We make the playoffs at 8-8. Eight and eight. I'll take a playoff appearance. Won't ever turn that down. All right. So we win the division at 8-8. Eight and eight. Wow. How the hell did that happen? Uh, 14th and... Oh, wow. Nick Foles has fully entered the Nick Foles magic zone. Okay. 4,300 yards, 36 to 13, 61% completion rate. All right. Those are numbers I'll take. My gosh, Le'Veon Bell, yes. 11, 38, 4.9 average, 13 touchdowns. David getting seven behind him. Receiving, oh yeah, AR and freaking Anthony Miller, 1,000 yards. 11 TDs for AR, 12 for Miller. That's what you like to see. 70, about 805 by Cole Komet. That's really good. Riley, really not doing much, but Lev Bell having about 400 yards receiving. 
blocking. Oh gosh, dang, dude. How does our guard allow 11? Atta I would maybe see a tackle, but a guard, that's that's rough. Defense. Oh, uh, we have 300 tacklers. 134 by Roquan. 126 by Jalen Johnson? 103 by Danny Trevathan. 13 and a half sacks by Mac, five and a half by Robert, five by Akeem. Interceptions, we'll get four by Fuller, two by Roquan, two by Jalen, nice. Two by Eddie, two by Gibson. A couple of one bombs. All right. So, not a bad year at all. MVP goes to Cam Newton. Are we not in the conversation? That's a pretty good year from Nick. You know, you're not going to lie about it. All right, well, let's go ahead and just get past this. I mean, we're not going to hop in. It's year one, so we'll just advance, see what happens. Taking on the Saints. It's a tough one. Oh, uh, yikes. All right, we just get knocked out right off the bat. 27-24, lost there to the Saints. At least we made the playoffs, so we, we have something going for us. That's tough, though. I mean, we didn't get a playoff win. Oh, wow, this could not have worked out more perfectly, dude. Damn. So we pick here at 19. Fields is still available. Uh, yes. Hey, yes. I'm, that's not even a think about it. That's just a take. Justin Fields, 74 overall. I'm not mad at where we drafted him at 19. Yes, that's our quarterback. All right. I, I was going to stick with Nick another year if a quarterback didn't fall to us at 19. But uh, hey, I mean, if Fields is available there at 19, I can't pass us on that. That's the equivalent of them passing on the Mahomes again. So hopefully, you know, hopefully we can finally make up for them passing on Deshaun and Mahomes with this pick. Hopefully. So we're picking here in the second round. I feel like going receiver is probably a decent option. I mean, we do have Anthony Miller AR. But I, I need another one. You know, we need that three. I like Anthony Miller for the slot more, to be honest. I like this Amon Ross St. Brown. He's got all A's, A+. Plus. I mean, he looks like a physical monster for those skills. A catching traffic master. Come on. Ooh, not bad. 26th and two talent. Drafted him at 51. Hidden dev. Ooh, damn. All right, that's a pick right there. That's a pick I'll take. He's got good catching traffic for a rookie. Aggressive catch. 90 spec catch. All right, I mean, everything I would want here. Nice change of direction. He's definitely starting. We have one problem. We don't have a speedster on the wide receiving core. But uh, they'll catch anything you throw at their face. All right, we do need a safety here after letting Gibson go. I'm not... I mean, I'm, I'm liking how this Colby Harvell Peel is looking. He's a zone safety, which makes me feel like he's at least going to have okay zone. And that's not even in his top abilities, so he's already got A tackling. Which is pretty insane for a safety. Four, five, seven. Didn't blow the combines off, but uh, all right. I mean, we need one. We have to go He's here at some point. Ninety uh, seventh and true talent. Okay, I can deal with this. It looks like his awareness and play rec is just garbage. But besides that, his stats aren't actually horrible. And he's got aggressive play ball tendency, so he's he's definitely going to be starting. Well, I'd like to get a linebacker to go along with uh, Roquan. Couple of good ones here late. You got either Joshua Ross or Amari Bernie. Mm. Well, this guy's a third round talent. That's the problem I'm dealing with. I mean, the other guy looks a bit better, but this guy, it says he could have went in the damn third. So likely be the last pick I'm showing you guys. I'm taking uh, Armani. Armani. No, Armari? Okay, I don't know. 84th and true talent. That's a that's a pick. I think that's one of the best picks I've had at this late. Hidden development. <gasps> uh yeah, I'll take. I'll take him to go along with Roquan, guys? Uh, that's gonna be nasty. Alright, so we're at the start of year two here. I think we're a playoff caliber team. I'm a little worried considering we're starting Justin Fields, so I'm not too sure what to expect from him. I'm pretty sure I haven't ever drafted him in a rebuild yet. 
But yeah, either way, Justin Fields is starting. He's already better than Nick Foles. So, yeah. He's definitely starting. Stats aren't the worst. So I got the same receivers. We are going to get St. Brown to start over Miller. I like him better as a number two guy. I think he can upgrade a lot better. But I still like Anthony as a slot guy for sure. O-line's the same. We just we don't have a guard at the moment. And we still need to address tackle on the right side. Cole Komet's still here. Now defense is exactly the same except we added in Bernie and a strong safety. Besides that, everything else looked pretty good. My gosh. Jalen Johnson upgraded pretty good. He's up to a damn 84 overall after one year. Look at those stats. He's got an 88 man, dude. What type of a year did he have? Wow. Okay. Well, cornerbacks are there. We already have Fuller up to a damn 85. Johnson's going to be likely near in that 90 range after this season. Okay. I'll take. I'll take. That's going to wrap it up for the check-in here. Let's get to mid-season. See if there's any more big players to bring back. I don't know if we're going to be in a great cap situation. Actually, you know what? I can pretty much assure you we're not. Oh, my God. Dude. We have so many people. What the hell? Oh, that's insane. How many people we have to bring back here? We got a hidden development punter who only has 81 kick power? Rough life. Oh, God dang, dude. What's... Oh, okay. I thought that only said six. I didn't see that one there. I was like, uh, you're joking. All right. So, Roquan, yes, I would like to bring him back. It's going to be tough to bring Akeem back. Because he doesn't even have Superstar. That's that's a bit tough. I feel like Akeem should have Superstar. But since he doesn't, that's going to be incredibly tough for me to bring him back. Because we know players that are over 28 regress horribly if they don't have Superstar. He only has Star and he's 31. So, he would regress so bad. So, we just won't be able to bring him back. Fuller, Fuller's 29? Dude. He's got 90 zone coverage, but his man's getting really bad. And, I mean, he's going to regress. That's the problem here. Like, these guys want to come back. But... It's tough for me because they don't have Superstar and they're already in that regression period. Like, look, we can probably see if Kyle Fuller regressed last year. No, it doesn't go back that far. I probably did, though. So we're going to pass on two big-time players here. We're going to pass on Akeem Kyle. I do want to bring back James Daniels. Going to have to pass on Charles Leno as well. Anthony Miller. I do want to bring him back. So we're going to bring back Anthony Miller. Again, I don't really want to sign this guy. Nichols wants a bit of money for... I feel like we could get this easily. We don't have to pay ex too much for that. Alright, so I'm looking to let everybody go to be fair. We're just going to bring back James and Roquan. And that's... Oh, and uh, Anthony Miller. Those three, and that's going to do it. Ooh, that's rough. No playoffs mm, with Justin, so mm, don't like that. What happened? 7-9. and nine, One worse loss record than last year. Okay, what did Justin do, though? Oh, just upgrade-wise. Well, he has seven. St. Brown has eight. All right, a lot of upgrades. A lot of upgrades, dude. A lot of upgrades. Bernie is five. Um, okay. That looks good. Nope, I don't need to see transactions, actually. Well, I need to know what Justin did this year, dude. With those stats. And with those stats, we it doesn't seem like we did much. Actually, not bad for a rook. 3,926-6. Not a bad one for a rookie. 62% completion rate. Running. 1,100 yards, 8 touchdowns. Again, not bad. 
Ooh, Cole Komet leads the team in yards and receptions. Eight touchdowns as well. Leads the team. AR 69, 904. Miller, 58, about 807. St. Brown didn't do bad, but I'd like more touchdowns there. About 70, 660, and 2. Love Bell doing about 400 yards there. Uh, o line, no. I can't have 10 sacks allowed by the right tackle. Okay, our cornerback, Jalen Johnson, is getting a lot of tackles. 105 again. 104 by Bernie. Oh, that's going to be incredible. Bernie and Roquan together. 101 by Roquan. He had more solos than Roquan. Sacks, we get seven. Ah, bit of a down year. Seven and a half for Mac. Five by Quinn. Four by Goldman. See, I just feel like with Chicago... If you want to have a good year, the defense has to play insane. We can't have a year like when Khalil Mack plays average. He has to play out of his damn mind every year. And we can't have one picks. Yeah. So it looks like defense just kind of had a rough year. That's tough. I mean, so we're just relying on them to have a good year, I suppose. Damn. At least we might have a bit of money. My God, Cam Newton wins MVP again? That's his second MVP straight, dude. I just want one. I just want one. What about Offensive Rookie of the Year? Ooh, we win it with Fields. I'll take. I'll take. Okay, let's get to wrap it up here. Let's get into free agency, see if there's any big uh, players. All right, so we're only going to go after one player here, but it's one of the best players available. Yair, we're going to save money. Still have about 17 left. Let's go, not going to go ham here. Just going to save a little bit of money. Yair, yeah, I need Yair. So after we lost Kyle Fuller, the way Jalen Johnson's upgrading, I love him as our corner. But just not as the number one yet. I, I feel like if we get Yair paired with Jalen, that's going to get straight dirty, dude. Come on. Come on, Yair. Yes, we get Yair. That's a pretty good one. We get Yair there, and we're going to get to pair him with Jalen Johnson. And we shouldn't pick too far back because we didn't have a great record. But, uh, yeah, we're, we're not going to pick top, but we're not going to pick last either. I, I'd say about directly in the middle we'll pick. All right, so doing a draft recap, didn't have a bad draft. So we drafted a guard. This guy's likely going to bounce over to right guard for us. Lance Robertson. Not the best, but he's all right. He's got decent all-around uh, skill sets. And he's uh, charismatic up in here, all right? So he's going to be nice for the locker room. Then we went after Ethan Falk. Not a great pick. Doing, I, I, I'm pretty happy with this pick. We went after a DT, and he's going to be starting. Lance Love, he ended up being really good. He was a first-round talent, and we drafted him in the third. He's got Hidden Dev, 74 overall. Great block. I mean, great uh, stats. Doesn't have great uh, power or finesse move yet, but I always like when we can start with that block shed near 80. Then we can just start fully going into either finesse or power. But yeah, he's got to trait you would want. That's pretty much it that's going to start. Ethan Folk might start. I'll have to see. But let's get into year three here. It's time to it's time for our team to get better now. All right, we we've rebelled for two years. It's time. All right, so year three is here. Not bad, dude. Not bad. I, I like how everybody's upgraded now. There's been one big mistake that I didn't account for, and that was our left tackle. I forgot that we let him go. So Charles Leno's gone, and we didn't get somebody to replace him, unfortunately. So, and somebody who's a 64 overall is taking over. What does Justin have here? Got a quick draw spin cycle. I always like for them to have quick draw. So he's got a quick draw. Lev Bell still hanging on to that overall. St. Brown, what is his uh, ability? Second wind. Eh. That's garbage. Who the hell wants second wind when you're a physical receiver? Alright, well, receiving core is good, though. I like the way it's looking. We got all superstars, pretty much, besides Anthony Miller. Cole Komet's there. Defense. So, we do have Love starting along with Folk to go along with Goldman on the D-line. Up in the secondary, we got Yair to go along with Johnson. Not a great slot corner, but 
Still like the way our secondary is looking. Eddie Jackson up to a 92. The safety we got up to a 73. I like the way Bernie's upgrading. He's up to a 77. Roquan's up to a 94. Still got Khalil doing the things. Robert Quinn still hanging on to his overall. Okay. So, I mean, we I, we need more pass rush. So we just got to get somebody that can disrupt. Hopefully, I'm hoping Love can be a big impact playmaker year one. We'll have to see. Oh, shit. All right. This is a big one. Eddie Goldman wants to come back. Le'Veon Bell does as well. Mm. To be honest, I'm, I'm probably fully in on this Le'Veon Bell thing so far. So we, we'll just likely bring him back. I like Goldman. I'm going to bring him back. That's likely it. I mean, just those main two guys. I mean, we've went this far with damn uh, Le'Veon. So why not stick it out with him and Eddie as well? Ooh, all right. We get a buy. What the hell we go here? That's always nice. Uh, nothing like a 13-3 record? We won the division with the Packers at 11-5 behind us. Alright, what the hell happened here? That's what happened. Um, okay. I'm pretty sure we won MVP. Yes, yes. So we won MVP with Justin, my god. 46-5, dude. That's insane. 4,400 yards, 65% completion rate. That's an insane year by Justin. About 1,000 yards, 12 touchdowns by Le'Veon. Ooh, 2,000 yard receivers with Robinson and St. Brown. Nine touchdowns apiece. Cole Komets, 79, 790, and 5. Anthony Miller, 69, 615, and 8. Blocking. Ooh, a left tackle allowed 12. That's not horrible for considering his overall what it was. 114 tackles by Jalen Johnson. Again, is this the second year he's leading the team in tackles? Solo as well. 107 by Roquan. Sacked. We get 10 by Mac. 6 by Roquan. 5.5 by Goldman. 5 by Bernie. Man, just the rookies didn't give me much production. Interceptions. 4 by Jalen. 3 by Roquan. 3 by Shelly. Couple of one bombs. I Not a bad year at all with Justin winning MVP. That's meaning we're deaf. Going to have to play some of the games here. So I'm just going to play all offense. We'll let our defense play. But we're playing all offense. I can't let this go by. We're taking on the Giants. They're 8-8. Eight eight. We're 13-3. Let's get it. All right. So we only allow three here real quick. Continue. Um, Man, why did you stop? That's still a great play. That probably was not going to be completed, though. Because AR you ended up stopping about... At the end of that route, but we ended up getting it done. AR, I'm trusting you here fully. Wow. Okay, he can just grab everything. That's dirty. Oh, that's so dirty. St. Brown up to the six. Nice. We're moving really quick right now. Press inside. Damn, nice. Grab St. Brown. Touchdown. Real quick, like. All right, we get a nice starting position here. We're down at the 48, so they must have turned it over. Ah, uh, yeah, that's really bad. Don't ask me what the hell I seen there because I, I just, I didn't. Right? That sack's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. Man, I do, get, get off me. What the hell pass rush is this from the Giants? That's in there. AR! Oh, that's... How did they do that? Let's go. That's a touchdown, I believe. AR with a massive touchdown. Yes, we needed that one. Don't, don't leave it on a rope. 97-yard touchdown to AR. Yeah, shit! This pass rush is wild. We're going to have to punt it back. Dude, I'm sacked before I can do a thing. I mean, literally. Yikes, dude. 
That's, he's got a step. He has the step that is needed. St. Brown, man, what is having to toss this shit deep to get yards? Like, if we don't toss it deep, we're not moving. That's a problem, too. I mean, it's a real problem. St. Brown, there we go. Keep it moving. Oh, man. Yes. We take the lead there easily. Okay, they left him alone again. Take it. Let us hit the fourth quarter. Okay, fourth quarter's here. Fourth quarter's here, dude. Le'Veon's fighting. He's fighting. That's a face mask at 15. Yikes. Get it out to Le'Veon. We almost... Oh, my gosh, Le'Veon. Way to fight. All right, we need this touchdown. Guys, we need it. Let's go. That's likely going to get us the win here. That's huge. That is huge. Yeah, I don't... Oh, wow. Well, we're going in. All right, the Giants are down eight. We just got to fight, though. I think our first down ends it. Oh shit, Levy! Oh my, Le'Veon! Oh wow, okay. Le'Veon still got that juice going, right? He's still got that damn juice. So we win it here. We can just knee it out. So that means we're moving on to the conference championship here. Let's just get right into it. So yeah, they only have one timeout. We can just knee it out three times. Get right into it. So we're taking on a Washington here. They got a 3-0 lead. Or blitzing, definitely. Still can't hit in stride. It's it's not good. You know, it's just not good. I don't know what it takes to be able to hit somebody in stride, but I'm pretty sure you have to have about 99 freaking accuracy everywhere. That's about what it seems. I'm going for it, dude. At this point, I mean, it's time. I'm feeling it. I think it's here. Get it. AR, did you not toe drag? Oh, he did. That was close. All right, they're blitzing. This is big. We're going to have that single look high that we like. Then have that touchdown that we also like. It fits a good pass, which just never is, right? Just never freaking is. Holy shit, what is, what is Justin Fields' accuracies? I mean, are they just horrid? Because they probably are. They probably are. I'm going field goal, dude. I, I don't know. And then we miss it. We miss. Okay, we get it back. The only problem with Le'Veon is he feels very damn slow, dude. All right, they just have Trevor Lawrence out there flexing on me. All right. Ah. <sighs> Just no, not anything, right? Now we're just right outside field goal range, but fourth and 21 can't go, so we gotta punt the shit away. Hey, we got it back, dude. I just, I, I need yards. I need more than getting stopped at the damn 40 every time. I'm gonna take a shot. AR, help me out. Okay. That's a help. That's a help. Hey, Le'Veon. Come on, you still got that? Oh, that's so close. That's so damn close. Uh, that plays dirty. Is it just me or? Let's run. Or oh, holy shit! How slow are we? That's embarrassing, dude. We were so freaking slow. Well, I that really is embarrassing. I mean, you're, if you're that slow, Le'Veon, way to fight in. We go for it, get it, the touchdown on fourth. My God, he, Justin has some slow wheels. All right, this will be the last play here. Don't want to get it in half. Don't want to make any mistake. Robinson's got a step. Oh, maybe we won't just get it in half. Please run. You have to run faster. Wow, that's everything. We get the touchdown. Put like three seconds remaining. Ka 
Gosh dang, dude. We're so close to this first. We're so close to this damn first. We need it. We need it. There we go. Flag? Okay. Well, third and 12. Dude, this guy's so freaking slow. What is wrong with you? All right, I'm going for it here. Fourth and six. I mean, I don't want to punt it back. Cole, yes. All right, Le'Veon, this is, it's time. It's time to eat a little. Or get a yard. All right, it's third and two. Yes, Le'Veon, yes. Okay, the two-minute warning is hit here. Oh, we had a little bit of a hole there. Okay. First down's big. There it is. There it is. We forced them to use a timeout here. All right, so we can get it down to about a minute. I mean, they're like 20 seconds here. That's really what I'm looking for. Or the touchdown's fine. All right, that's going to get us the W here. There's only about two minutes remaining. I mean, we'll see what happens. We don't need to play, though. If we get back on the field, I mean, it's over. It's over. So we get the W here against Washington. We're moving on to the Super Bowl. Let's get right into it. Who we taking on? Wow, all right. Planking on the Colts here. They score seven real quick. Real damn quick. Here we go, Le'Veon. All right. I need separation here. Oh, that's big. If it's completed, it is. Nice spin out. Up to the 35. Okay, I think that Washington defense was just nasty, dude. Because I'm already seeing a damn difference. Justin moving. That defense for Washington was something else. Touchdown goes a long way here. Ah! I guess we got to go three. Got to take that shot with AR. It's open. All right, so there's a massive problem. We're just not able to get completed passes. Why are not able to get the ball to the person? Hey, forget a completed pass. Just, oh, well, there, just drop it to. All right. Nice, nice possession. Come on, Trey. Get that first. Yes. That AR route's looking juicy to me. I don't know why it is, because I get picked off on that shit every time. All right. They overturned it. Take it back. They overturned that shit. Run, Justin. I'm going. I'm going. Oh, we're going up against a goal line. Nice. We pick it up. We pick that up. Yes, Miller. Miller! Two. Down to the five. Take that time out. Don't throw it, dude. That'd be weird, dude. That would be freaking weird. Now we gotta go field goal after all that shit. All right, I'm down one. I mean, it's absurd how slow Le'Veon feels. Yes! There we go, Anthony. I think they're blitzing. I'm pretty sure they're blitzing, dude. They are. That needs to be accurate. Hey, are Come on! I'm field goal. Dude, we've only gotten three field goals. And that gives us the damn lead. Great blocking. Okay. There we go, Le'Veon. Okay, that's big. They have three timeouts. We're only up by two. We don't want to give the ball back. That's something that can't happen. We just need to run good. Run well. Le'Veon with the first. That's so big. We can get it down to about 20 seconds at least now. Just block the ball, Le'Veon. Just block the ball, please. Okay, we nearly get another first. Okay, a first down wins us the damn Super Bowl. No! We didn't get it. 
Oh my gosh, guys. Third and two. This is what it's going to come down to. We're going to let this literally get to one before we hike it. That's it. That's it. Le'Veon with the Super Bowl win. Yes, we get the Super Bowl W. Those were some tough-ass playoff games. All right, one final knee is going to take an end to it here, and we're going to get the Super Bowl W here with the Chicago Bears. That was a tough one, dude. We had to fight there a bit in the playoffs. Those were some tough-ass playoff games. Ended up getting Justin Fields. He ended up playing well. Oh, wow, he's an X-Factor? His freight train. So we ended up getting that. We ended up signing Le'Veon. That paid off. So big, big couple years there from Le'Veon. AR was a monster. Love is St. Brown. He played well. Um, defense, I don't know. I feel like when the playoffs came, they didn't play their best. I mean, this game, they played great, only allowing seven. Besides this game, it was tough in the playoffs. But we ended up getting it done with Justin Fields. How the hell did Jameis went end up on the damn Colts? Wait, we end up getting the W. Who's going to win Super Bowl MVP, I wonder here? I'd have to say Justin, right? Didn't play too bad, Justin didn't. It'd have to either be him or Le'Veon. For sure. And AR had a good game, too. I don't know how many receivers I've seen win it, though. Drake one had that nasty grab. So, Super Bowl MVP goes to Justin. Goes for 201 yards, no touchdowns, a pick, 46% completion rate. Not our best game at all with Justin, but it's good enough to get it done. Up on the podium, we're obviously going to have Justin up there. Who else do we got up there on the podium? So we got Justin, Le'Veon, Bell. Ooh, we got AR and Roquan, it seems. So yeah, we ended up getting that done in year three with Chicago. If you guys did enjoy it, though, please make sure you guys hit that sub button. That would be greatly appreciated. Uh, we upload a lot of Madden content. Doing a Madden 21 Panthers franchise mode. Zoo rebuilds all the time. Tutorial videos. Anything like that. So make sure you guys do it. That sub button. And I will catch you guys next time. Let me know who you guys want to see next. Peace out.